Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm finally doing another room tour. A lot of you asked me to do a room tour and as some of you maybe know, my first YouTube video was actually a room makeover. But since then a lot of things have changed in my room. So I decided I'm gonna do a new room tour. And if you haven't watched my room makeover yet, you can watch that. Because today I'm only showing you my room, but in that room makeover video I explained how I kind of made all of my, most of my room decor myself and a few DIYs so if you're interested in that I'll link the video somewhere here and I also got a lot of questions about my other room decor and where I get that from and that's why I want to introduce you to the brand The Other Aesthetic. The Other Aesthetic is an online store that helps you find things that exactly match your aesthetic and that can be cottage core or dark academia or Y2K aesthetic. There are so many different aesthetics you can choose from. They have things like home decor, storage and organizers, accessories, bedding and even things for your kitchen. So they're really great to kind of create a home that exactly matches your aesthetic. They also let me choose a few products from their online store, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but I'm absolutely obsessed and I'm going to put the link to all the products in the description below. So if you want to buy any of these products, you can use that link. For example, I got these pillows and they're so cute. I've seen them all over Pinterest and I really wanted to have pillows like this. But I didn't know where to buy them and now I have them and I'm so obsessed. Another thing that I absolutely love is this cute little mushroom mug it's it's everything i opened the package and i saw this and i was in love like are you kidding me this is so cute it's like this little mug and then and you can close it and it's a mushroom it's it's perfect if you know me you know that i love mushrooms if you've seen some of my diy videos most of the time there's something with a mushroom and also in my room you'll see that in a minute you can also look at room inspirations there if you don't know what your aesthetic is or what kind of things you like they also put descriptions of the aesthetics so you can learn a little more about the aesthetic and what it means so don't forget to check out the other aesthetic i put the link to their website in the description as well and now we can get started with the room tour so this is what my room looked like before. I just got really bored of it and I felt like I needed a change and also I didn't really like the way I decorated the walls anymore because it just looks kind of random and I don't know, I just didn't like it anymore so I definitely needed a change. I also wanted to show a few clips of the way my room looked like during the makeover because it was a mess and I feel like usually you only see the perfect end result but it was really a lot of work and really stressful, but I'm so glad I'm finally done. We're gonna start at the door as you can see i have all my bags and especially all my tote bags here and then next to it you can see my shelf with my monitor and on the wall i put these pictures that i found on pinterest and i wanted to put them in a rainbow order so i started with red and then i did orange and yellow and green and blue and purple and I looked for pictures in that color on Pinterest and I actually made a pin board in case you want to do the same. I have this really old mirror that I got from my grandma and I decided to wrap fairy lights around it. Under the mirror I put this pin board with my mushroom garland and a few other random things. 
I put three of these cute mushrooms in the corner of my room. I saw them a while ago in a TikTok video and I really wanted to get them and I finally found them on Amazon. I already had this jewelry tree in my last room makeover and people were asking where it's from and I'm actually not quite sure because it was a gift but I think I found it on Amazon. Maybe just try searching for a jewelry tree. And behind the jewelry tree I had a box with some of my journals. In my shelf I put a few of my books but I actually turned them around so it wouldn't be too colorful. Although that's kind of stupid because now you can't read the title of the book but I'm not reading any of these books anytime soon so it's fine. I also put my little mushroom jewelry holder and these two boxes into the shelf. The people that watch my DIY videos know this already, but I made that jewelry holder and if you want to make a jewelry holder like this, you should go watch my DIY videos. On the bottom of the shelf, I had another box and also another jewelry tree and then another box with just hair ties and some glasses and stuff like that. In that part of my room you can see my clothes rail and the rose garland is actually another thing that I got from the other aesthetic and it was so perfect for this spot because I could just wrap it around the clothes rail and it made it look so much better. I also got these clothing hangers from the other aesthetic and oh my god how cute and pretty are these. When I saw them, I immediately knew that I had to get them. On the wall, I had my fairy wings. If you've seen my fairy wing video, you know these already. And on top of them, I had all the little butterflies that I had to cut out in my first room makeover. On the other wall I put the flower fairy alphabet because I just love them so much and they really fit my aesthetic. And of course I also made a pin board and I'm gonna put the link to the pin board in my description. I also got these simple roses that I put on the wall and I just put a nail into the wall and you see this little hole on the back of the rose and that's just how I put it on the nail. The next thing that I got from the other is that are these sunflower curtains and they look so pretty and they just make the light in my room look also really pretty and it just gives a really warm feeling. Next we have my bed and over my bed I have these vintage plant posters and directly over my bed I have this dream catcher and around it I just put a bunch of butterflies that I found on Pinterest and then cut out. Here are again the pillows that I showed you at the beginning. I think they're really cute and they also really match my bed sheet from the other aesthetic as well. Over my bed I also put a few butterflies and also these fake plant garlands. The posters you see on this wall are actually from a store in Berlin. But I forgot what the store was called. It was a really small store and in the back of the store they had all of these posters. So I think I bought like five because they were just so beautiful. 
I also got this cute little glass vase from the other aesthetic and there's also the little mushroom mug. If you've watched my birthday vlog from last year, you know that I got this from a friend as a gift and I put all of my self-made jewelry on it. Next to it we have this shelf from Ikea and I just put a plant on top of it and a few books. And then under it I have all of my beads and stuff for like the jewelry I make. I also put a candle that I made in elementary school there and a broken mug that I tried to fix with glue. And also this broken piece of plate where I painted a mushroom on it, some candles and also some crystals. Then under all of this I also have a few more journals and also a few more crystals. I actually got three pillows in total from the other aesthetic. This is the third pillow and I put it on my chair. On the ceiling I just put a bunch of fake plant garlands and to make it look a little more, I don't know, green. I also really like how everything looks in the mirror, especially the ceiling. In my desk I just have all of my art supplies and I can imagine that it's gonna get really messy as soon as I start painting or drawing but I'm trying to be more organized this time but this already looks a little messy. So this is what my room looks like at night. I put all of the fairy lights on and the candles and it looks so cozy and pretty and I just feel like I'm in an enchanted forest and I just love it so much. If I could lay down beside you, I would. I'm just so happy that I finally finished this room makeover because I haven't felt comfortable in my room for such a long time because it was so messy and now I can finally enjoy the time in my room again and hopefully it will stay like this and won't get messy again.
Wild. Hey, stopp mal, das sieht voll gut aus. <lacht> Crazy. Hey, wie schön. Würdest du es raten von 1 bis 10? Null. Spaß. Oh my god, that was so funny! <lacht> Also ich würde sagen, eine 10 von 10, aber ich würde halt mein Zimmer nie so haben. Aber ich finde es trotzdem super. Ja, gut. das habe ich mir gedacht. Danke fürs Rating. Abschiedsworte? Ah, kommt das ein Video? Ja. Das ist mein erster... <lacht> Stopp mal! Das ist mein erster Auftritt in einem Video. Du warst schon mal drin, ey. Wegen der Spinne. Flashback. Eo! End of Flashback. Wow! Alter, das sieht so gut aus. Also das da. Junge. Was meinst du? Die, das hier, die Pflanzen. Ja, auch so ein Spiegel. Sieht einfach aus wie ein Gewächshaus. Hallo. Oh. <lacht> wie ein Gewächshaus. Ja, jetzt kommen wir wieder runter. Aber ein bisschen schon. Das ich mir kurz vorstellen. Hey, guys. I'm her sister. <lacht> so, this was my reaction. This was my sister's reaction. And that's also it for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want to see my sister more. <lacht> that's me. <lacht> If you want Please to, don't say no. If you want to see my sister more often, then comment. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> comment down below. Subscribe. Like. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Let's all bye then. Bye. <laughs> Guys, guess what? I just got tickets for Harry Styles. Der geht in Deutschland. Ähm, wenn nee. ihr. Maybe mal. not. Also, wenn ihr auch aus Deutschland kommt und. 5. Ja. Juli. Oh mein Gott. 5. Ja. Juli, Harry Styles Konzert, sie geht da alleine hin, wenn ihr auch dahin geht. Nee, ich glaube, ich gehe da nicht alleine hin. Also, ich aber ich Leute, die auch. Ja, ich stehe da bisher alleine. Also, wenn ihr auch hingeht nach Frankfurt, schreibt bitte. ihr an. Okay, das ist jetzt wirklich. Ja. Ende. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.